Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome to Minecraft. Another turning point. They seem to come and go. Another week I spend just winding down this road. Yo, what is up, guys? This is Ross and Jay, and today we're going to be showing you how to create a launcher such as this. So, um, that was actually a failed one. Let me show you a better one. Right, so, um, a launcher is basically an external f uh, program which allows you to launch uh, games. So, it's pretty simple to make. You can add music, uh, you can have it borderless so you can't move it, and then this is the launch button. I'm not actually going to launch it because that's, um, not what we're here for. So, first, what you're going to want to do is open your Visual Basic. I don't know what that is. Go to New Project. Start a new project. I'm just going to call mine Launcher. It's going to create a new thing. So, first thing I normally do is add in a background. So, background image. Um, I'll just add in Launchers uh, Mafia 2. Uh, make sure it's not on tile. Make sure it's on zoom. And the next thing I normally do is make form border style none. And then I normally stretch it so there's no white bits. So next what you're going to want to do is add in three buttons. Um, add the third one here. Second one in the middle. You don't actually have to put them in these set uh, things, but this is what I do. Change button one to mute. Change button two to launch. Change button three to uh, exit. So first, uh, double click on exit and just type me dot close in brackets. Well, not in brackets, but then brackets. Uh, then for mute, all you have to do is my computer dot audio dot stop and then brackets. So what we've got now is a button that allows you to uh, close the thing and a button that stops the music from playing. Now we're going to learn how to add the music. So what you're going to want to do is go to Project, Launcher Properties, or whatever your one's called, go to Resources, go to Audio, add a resource, and find any WAV file. So I've got one set up already in my Maker files called Untitled. So, what you're going to want to do is double click on um, your background or your program or whatever, Type in my computer audio play, then brackets uh, my resources dot untitled or whatever yours is called, comma uh, audio play audio play mode dot background. So now what this should do is when you start up the program. Uh, whoops, I forgot to add in a... Make sure you always end it with a bracket. Should start up. And it should start playing your music. And as you can see there... Oh, and when you click mute, it stops it. And when you click exit, it closes it. So pretty simple so far. Now we have to do the actual launcher. So the way you can do this is... System... Di uh, diagnostics... Sorry if you can hear a thing that's outside. Process, start, brackets, and then speech mark. Now the way you can find this is go to computer, and then go to wherever your program is. So this one's for Mafia 2, so it's 2K games. Mafia 2, launcher. So you go up here, and you copy this down. So you've copied that down, go back into here and the way you're going to actually make it launch is whatever the button to start your game is called you're going to put that in there launcher and then .exe close the speech marks close brackets so I don't know how this is going to work out oh and um, some additional things you can do is uh, go to start position and change it to center screen so it always opens up in the middle so um, I'm going to show you uh, that it launches 
I don't know if you guys can see this or not. We'll have to um, do it. But it's launched my Mafia 2 game. It's loading. Um, that's NVIDIA. We don't need to watch this. So let's close Mafia 2. So um, I hope you found this video helpful. If you uh, did, then make sure to leave a like and um, subscribe if you want more VB tutorials. This is just a simple tutorial. Next time I'm going to show you how to crack the game, uh, which means it just practically replaces a file with a cracked file to run it without the disk. So thanks for watching. This has been Ross and Jay. I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure you subscribe.